Hey students, it's Mr. Bowman. So very, very brief video today. I know they tend to be really long. Um, today's is just, someone asked me about how do you work and get things done for school. And they asked me this because I'm actually in grad school right now. My grad school classes, they're going full steam ahead. My actually, my grad school program is mostly online. So it doesn't really change very much um, as far as my work expectations. So I'm gonna show you my workstation, how I get things done, how I keep track of stuff. I'm talking about how I focus to write, particularly when there's a lot of distractions around. There's so much stress in the world. There's doing my job, although my job has changed significantly. I'm still trying to do my job to the best of my abilities. I'm taking care of my children. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on right now, and a lot of things for me to adjust to. So let me show you how I'm getting all my stuff done. Now, behind me here, this is the wall where I organize all my work, and in front of me is my desk. I'm going to just kind of show you how I have this all set up. First, I have my Chromebook. I use a Chromebook just like you guys do. It's no different than what you have. I have a little wireless speaker here, a little Bluetooth speaker. Now, sometimes I use that, but I'm going to show you how I listen to music uh, in just a second here. I've got the notes of what I'm working on right now. Now, right now, in addition to everything else, I'm working on my new book. And you see I have a lot of stuff going on here. This is my first full draft. I have a spiral notebook, so I can always take notes. I have a legal pad here, so I'm always taking notes on my legal pad. And I have a stack of post-it notes, because I use a lot of post-it notes. I have my pens right there, so I'm always ready to go. And here's some more pages of stuff I'm working on. I'm thinking about this. is a short story I'm reading for a writing group. These are notes a professor gave me on something I'm working on. I have another spiral notebook with more notes that someone else gave me. Now, next to it here, I have kind of my bulletin board. Now, I have these little cork board things here. I got them online. They're not very expensive, but you really don't need those as long as people are good with putting holes in their walls. It's what I did for a long time. I use these little push pins. I use them all the time. I use lots of them. Every time I have something that I need to remember, I pin it to my wall. So I have lots of things here. Questions I'm asking myself as I write. Why? Where are the cops? What's going on on social media? I have little things I like. I have drawings that my ch children have given me and pictures of my kids. I have the bell schedule for school so I can do all my work stuff. I have, let's see, little notes to myself about what I'm doing in the story. This is a timeline of the whole story, everything that happens in the whole book. But you can see I've got notes all over it because it's changing. No one does something just on their first draft. More notes to myself. All kinds of questions. Is there a hailstorm? Changes to Denver. I've got little gifts friends have given me through the years, including ones from uh, uh, Miss Douglas, actually. She gave me this one right here. So, more notes to myself. These are sections of the book I wrote that I actually don't know where they go yet. I just kind of have them here, and I'll put them somewhere else in a bit. So, as you can see, I don't keep everything in my head. I have to write things down and then post them up where I can see them. Now, the nice thing about posting them up on the wall is then I know that I won't lose them. And then I have my whole workstation. Now... Now, I know I mentioned music and that I don't really use that little speaker very much, and it's true, I don't use it very much. So I use headphones. Now, we need to talk about music and work because lots and lots of students tell me how much they love music while they work and how they even need music while they work, but this is not really quite accurate. I love music as much as anybody. I'm actually really into music. But it's hard to concentrate when you listen to music, particularly anything with words in it. So I do. So I put on my headphones. They're not actually on. I'm just pretending they're on. And then what I do is I make a playlist of either just instrumental music or the same song on repeat. I mean on repeat a lot. I'll have the same song on the playlist 30 times. And then when I hit play on that song, since it's the same song over and over again, I stop hearing the words. I just have the rhythm of it in my head and it's a nice small amount of distraction to keep other things from going on so I can really concentrate on what I'm doing. This has been huge for me. Now the music I tend to listen to isn't like party music. It's usually stuff that's a little bit sad, but has a fast rhythm to it for a sad song. Um, I can put up a list of ones I like. Uh, Tom York from Radiohead did the soundtrack for a movie called Suspiria. There's a song on that soundtrack I listen to over and over and over while I write. There's a song on the New Strokes album that I listen to over and over and over. There's a song by Simon and Garfunkel called uh, uh, April Come She Will. I listen to that song all the time on repeat because I like the rhythm of it. And then the rest of them I actually don't listen to it because I get so sick of it while I'm working. So while I'm working, all someone would see is just me typing like this. And I really have to concentrate. When I work, people tend to think that like writers or writing is easy for people who are good writers. In my experience, it kind of gets harder the more you practice it because you realize what you want to do and what you want to achieve. 
It takes a lot of intense concentration. So if I have these on, even if my children are playing, if, even if everything's crazy in the house, as long as I have these on, I concentrate pretty well. Now for time management, I tend to make certain times to work. I have, uh, I reward myself with, here's something I can do after I get my work done. I can go, whatever, have a snack. Or I'll have, I can do the, I have to work until blank happens, right? For me to kind of avoid distractions, I tend to get up early and then write and do as much of my work as uh, early to get as much as I can with when everyone else in the house is still asleep, actually. I still get up pretty early. Not as early as I did during the school year normally, but still pretty early with all this. Okay, that's my workstation. I'd love to hear what you're doing, what tips and tricks you have. It'd be nice if you guys reach out to each other. If you're having success with something, let everyone know how you're having success. Let them know how that's coming together. All right, I'm thinking about all of you. I miss you very much. Hopefully we'll uh, get to see each other soon. Write if there's anything you need. See ya.